what is up? I am currently in Philly uh, for a good reason. I came up here to get my second dose of the vaccine and I got here like two hours early. So I wanted to kill some time. I already walked around the Schuylkill River, saw Boathouse Row, you know, the usual things I do when I'm in Philly. And I thought that I would do a what's in my bag video because why the heck not? Currently in my car in a parking lot and I guess I'm just gonna show you what is in my bag as people jog around me. So this is my bag. I don't go out often like during quarantine. I like only go to the grocery store to therapy, any doctor's appointments and now Philly because I have to drive to Philly to get my vaccine, but I've been using this bag wherever I go because it's small. I don't really need to carry anything. It's not like I'm going to a coffee shop with my laptop and stuff like that. So I love this bag. I got this actually like a year ago this week. Got it right before the pandemic and I loved it. I love how pretty it is. It's pink, which is like really different for me because I don't like a lot of color but last year i started getting into color and i really like pink and it's good for like valentine's day it's good for the summer and like the maroon is good for the fall so i really really love this bag it is toasty in this car also i think you can see like everything i have in my car but whatever so this bag carries like everything that i usually need when i'm out running like an errand for groceries shopping whatever so it has two pockets one in the front and one in the back here and it has a little pocket back here which i only keep my metro card in i haven't ridden the metro in like two years but i think it's easy for when you're like scanning you can just put the bag down and call it good but um yeah so it's a very tight because there isn't much wiggle room but i still fit a lot in here i'm actually going to start with the back i have it divided in two different ways which i don't quite know how to explain it but i think you will see how i divide things up so in the back pocket here again like i said it's really tight it doesn't really open but i don't really need to go in my bag often like i have my wallet in here it's a little coin thing it has my cards in it and i don't really need to get this out because i use my phone for apple pay and then i have my costco card that isn't in my wallet and then i also have my like temple id card it says that i was vaccinated and i just have this because i needed to come up here today it's usually in my desk and then i have all my insurance cards just loose in my bag because yeah i have an appointment card for the dentist i have a pen um i got this for christmas i think two years ago and it's always good to have a pen in your bag and i love making lists and i always have a notebook but i always seem to lose pens so i just keep this one in my bag just in case i'm just trying to balance everything on the side here and it's We'll see how this works. I have a receipt for Target, a receipt for a dentist, another receipt for I can't even tell a the bag for my pen, which I don't think I really need, so I'll take that out right now. I have a enzyme powder packet another receipt for target and my airpods and in this pocket also there are a bunch of cars that drive around and this is like a pretty open parking lot and they all decide to like park right next to my car but uh so in this pocket there's like a back little thing right here so in here i have my a uh, vaccination record card for the COVID vaccine. Um, and then I just have a business card for the place that I get my car inspected, my ticket receipt from the last time I was in Philly, and a sticker. Ugh, so much of this is COVID related, but um, I got my COVID-19 vaccine sticker and a Wegmans receipt. I can probably just shove all of this back in my bag. 
Oh, and I have a dime. Oh, somebody parked right next to me. So as you can see, I cram a lot of things in this bag. The lighting may have changed. I'm gonna close it. This guy's doing like, that was my car. So in the first pocket out here now, I have a uh, perfume. I love the Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. It smells so nice. I'm gonna put a description of what it smells like because I can't describe smells, but we have that and I have my car key, Benadryl. We have found out that I am very allergic to shellfish, so I've been carrying Benadryl around just in case. Uh, I have oil blotting sheets, which is just a staple from when I was in high school and I just can't not have this in my bag, so I have that in there. I have my other keys with a bottle opener, a gym membership that I no longer go to, and my house key. And then I also just have tampons and pads, or tampons and panty liners, because you never know when you need it. And then I also, um, and I also carry around extra contacts. I use uh, daily contacts, and I'm like terrified that I'm going to be out and one of my contacts is gonna fall out and I'm not gonna be able to see because I have like awful vision so I make sure to carry around extra an extra pair of contacts time to put all of this back in my bag so usually outside of my bag I usually have my phone um, I'm getting really distracted because there's so many people around but so usually I, this is like all the staples in my bag and then outside of my bag, I usually have my camera and my phone. And then I also like to carry around my journal depending on where I'm going. Like if I'm going to the grocery store or therapy and I brought it with me when it's in the back seat, but I just like to have all those like loose because I really like to carry around small bags. I was a very big bag person growing up, but I have discovered the joys of having a tiny bag. So I have to run to my appointment, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of random, but I love what's in my bag videos like I always have. I hope everybody is staying safe and I will see you in my next video.